Hello, Star Wars Galaxy of Hero Plays. This is Anita Shorto. Today, I'm going to do some prediction thoughts on some of the characters for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes of the month of August of 2018. Uh, of course, we've recently got the added character of Embo. I don't know if they'll add his pet Anuba. Um, Marek, I think his name. I don't know how to pronounce his name, especially when I'm not looking at the name right now. Um, but for the most part, I feel like I want to talk about a few bounty hunters that could possibly be in-game. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start off with two right here. Two. Which, starting with one of these, would give us a couple... This on, on another one on the list. And I will have another bounty hunter in another video that will be possible light side ones. But first off, we got Racco Hardeen, the original... With the weird shaped helmet head, that it's actually one of the hel it has a similar appearance to one of the helmet heads you get get in Star Wars: The Old Republic, and you also have another one as well with Racco Hardeen. It looks kind of similar esque to Mandalorian helmets. Uh, he also uses this armor when he goes to rescue Duchess Satine from you know the Mandalore stuff from Darth Maul etc etc but I feel like adding two unique characters um one dark side of course and one light side Kenobi he's in undercover so it'd be called undercover Kenobi or undercover Obi-Wan whatever they'd want to name the thing or you know we're just undercover Ben even Racco Hardeen, parentheses, undercover band. I don't, I don't know what they'd call them. But having two unique bounty hunters right here, I feel like it'd be great. No ships tied, but these two were in the Clone Wars era. Even though Racco Hardeen, is, uh, Kenobi version, is just obviously Obi-Wan Kenobi with facial feature change from weird technology. Kind of a cool way of doing it, but hey, you never know. Uh, the next one is... C-21 High Singer. This is a bounty hunter that actually worked with young young Boba Fett as well as Dengar. Um, I don't think I was saying it was there. It was I don't remember the other bounty hunter. And then there was also Asajj Ventress. Uh, there has been mention of maybe Asajj Ventress being a bounty hunter, but I did not put her on this list. So, yeah. But here's another possible droid bounty hunter. How great would it be to have another bounty hunter that also would have some decent synergies with droids? And maybe he would, in his unique, he can, um, he would have some sort of way to get his own contract off without needing a leadership. And if there's a bounty hunter leader, then he will get whatever contract off he does. Uh, but if he doesn't have a bounty hunter leader, he still can at least get a contract off, so he kind of helps support the droids a little better. Who knows? But I still feel like target lock could be a thing. He would definitely have some sort of AoE similar to IG-88. Well, except it, his is more of a spinny one, so he could have like a 10% chance to hitting an ally. So it could be a dangerous type of thing. So uh, The next one is, of course, Aura Singh. Of course, you see her in... Uh, Episode 1, Revenge of the... Or, ha, 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 oh my gosh. Episode 1, Revenge of the Sith. Wow. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. I don't know where I'm at today. <laughs> um, but then you also see her in Clone Wars. Uh, she also has appeared in comics, especially the um, old canon, or uh, it's called Legends now. In Legends, she was actually a fallen Jedi that became a bounty hunter. So maybe they may allude to that, where she has a, you know, just... Even if it's called Stolen Lightsaber Strike, that'd be cool. Except you never see Aura Singh use a lightsaber in the Clone Wars, which they could have kept that part of her character. If someone asked, they could have had like a quick 10-second explanation. Yeah, it was just a fallen Jedi, but bounty hunting's way better. Um, so, yeah, Aura Singh. And it would make it even more interesting uh, if they actually made Aura Singh a, you know, fallen Jedi that was more focused on using blasters than her lightsaber skills. And that, um, uh, I forget his name in Solo, the movie Solo, you know, said that he had killed her, gives a little more weight to that. And making him a, a Beckett, that's what his name, uh, Beckett. So, it could be something. But, unfortunately, in canon, she's just a regular bounty hunter. It's boring. I feel like a fallen Jedi or a Jedi that left the you know, left the order would be a much more in 
interesting story. Um, the next one, the next two actually, uh, I don't think they will get these during the time because it's Clone Wars era, but I do want to allude to the mention that we have yet received two bounty hunters from Empire Strikes Back, and that is Forlom and Zuckus. And maybe they may do another bounty hunter month, maybe by the end of the year or the beginning of next year, because we don't have we have all the way until like probably around this time next year, uh, when you know they want to start prepping and getting ready for the movie release of episode nine and so on. Um, so maybe we might actually be introducing they may introduce Forlom and Zuckus into the bounty hunter role of a month where they had just these two characters plus a ton of different ships from bounty hunters. So we'll, we'll see what happens, especially this month. But obviously, this is not on the prediction, but I just wanted to cover these two as well. Um, young Boba Fett could be a very viable option. Yes, Jango Fett is not also not on this list, like or uh, Saj Ventures, but Jango Fett is just like the most obvious one we should be getting. And again, and again, and again, I say this, I feel like he should be obviously a legendary character. Now, young Boba Fett, I feel like he would be a unique character to add in. So we have Boba Fett, and then you got the young Boba Fett. Boom, done and done. We have two Boba Fetts. I'd be excited about that. I would. To get to play with a younger Boba Fett version advanced. So you get to see the advanced Boba Fett where he has a basic, special, special, leader, unique, and the payout. Where this one would be a basic, special, unique payout or leader payout. Where he has one less ability than, you know, being advanced. So it kind of shows that he became more advanced. And he's also obviously gotten better gear too. So, unless, if, if when I talked about in the uh, reveal of the Clone Wars TV series coming back, I did talk about hoping that the episodes would be a bit longer so that we can fit more stories in. In the 12 episodes, I really wish they did up to 20 or so. And maybe the first episode would be kind of the first couple episodes be long or something but um maybe we get the battle of cad bane versus boba fett and it looked like he had actual a mandalorian helmet maybe a smaller version who knows but he had a mandalorian style helmet on his when he was fighting uh cad bane so he may have a different you know helmeted version than this but this is the young boba fett during the train heist so um, the last one is another possible light side character, Sergi or Sugi. Um, she actually worked with Ambo, so it kind of makes sense for her to be more light side because she also helped more light side esque. If you read into the story, she also helped the, the Wookies rescue Chewbacca and a couple of young Jedi, as well as um, uh, Soka Tano. So yeah, and she got fought against uh, Hondo Onaka. So yeah, that just makes her feel more light side. So these are kind of my, uh, aside from Zuckus and Forlom, uh, the rest of these characters are my predictions of what possible bounty hunters will get in the month of August of 2018. Other than that, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what, what your predictions and thoughts are on possible bounty hunters for this month. Thanks for watching, and you guys have a wonderful day.